Let's learn how to use addition combinations to solve problems with multiple add-ins. First, I have to understand what multiple add-ins are. Multiple means many. And add-ins are numbers I add. That's why they have add in their name. I also need to know that a sum is the answer when we add. Using the vocabulary I just discussed, I know what I'm going to practice today adding many numbers to find the answer, or using multiple add-ins to find the sum. To help me solve the problem, I'm going to use addition combinations. Make 10 facts are a type of addition combination that equals 10 when I add them together. 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6, and 5 plus 5 are examples of make 10 facts. I also can use doubles facts. Doubles add the same number, like 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3, and 4 plus 4. Finally, I can look for near doubles facts. Near doubles add two numbers that are next to each other when we count. I can use doubles facts to help me count them. If I know 2 plus 2 equals 4, then I can use it to solve 2 plus 3, since it adds one more. 2 plus 2 equals 4, plus one more is 5. Some examples of near doubles facts are 1 plus 2, 2 plus 3, and 3 plus 4. Now let's use addition combinations to solve multiple add-in problems. We're going to solve 3 plus 4, plus 6 plus 7, plus 3. I'm going to start with make 10 combinations. I'm going to look at the equation and see if I can add two numbers that make 10. I see that 4 and 6 are in the problem, and I know 4 plus 6 equals 10. Looking at the equation again, I see that 7 plus 3 also makes 10. I make sure to circle my numbers so that I can add all of them to find my sum. I notice that 3 doesn't have a circle on it, so I need to make sure I add that in also. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 3 more equals 23. So I know my sum for this equation is 23. Let's try this problem again, but instead of making 10, I'm going to use doubles. I can see 3 plus 3, since doubles facts add the same number. 3 and 3 make 6. I see that 6 is in my original equation, so 6 plus 6 is a doubles fact, and that makes 12. I still haven't used 4 or 7 in my equation, so I'm going to add them here. 4 plus 12 plus 7. 4 and 12 make 16. Plus 7 more I can add on makes 23. The sum when I do the doubles facts is the same, which is 23. Let's try one more time to solve this problem, but this time we're going to solve it with near doubles. Remember that near doubles adds two numbers that are next to each other when we count. I can see 3 plus 4. I'm going to use the doubles fact 3 plus 3 to help me solve 3 plus 4. 3 plus 3 equals 6 plus one more is 7. If I look at my equation again, I see that 6 and 7 are still there, so I'm going to do 6 plus 7, and I'm going to use the doubles fact 6 plus 6 to help me. 6 plus 6 equals 12, plus one more is 13. I still haven't added 3, so I'm just going to move that down. 7 plus 13 is 20, plus 3 more is 23, so my sum 
is 23. For all three of the equations, the sum or the answer was 23. I used make 10, doubles, and near doubles to help me solve addition combinations. Remember that these addition combinations help me solve when adding multiple add-ins much easier than trying to add all the numbers at one time. If you look for addition combinations you know, then adding multiple add-ins can be a simple way to solve problems.